Hurricane Aaron was a monster storm blowing up from a tropical storm to a Cat 5 hurricane in less than a day. It was the perfect opportunity for Google to test out its new AI hurricane forecast program. Next, weather meteorologist Scotty Withers reports on how well the new model did at predicting Aaron. Aaron's Category 5 wind spinning wildly as it pushed eastward through the Atlantic. Along the East Coast, and especially right here in South Florida, everyone waited to see if it was heading our way. The spaghetti models mostly agreeing. Aaron was turning north, but not all the models were up there on that map. And it did very, very well. Google's new DeepMind AI hurricane forecast software got its first real-time test with Hurricane Aaron. And it nailed it, according to former National Hurricane Center specialist James Franklin. The Google DeepMind model did it a little better than uh, any of the other ones. Franklin says Google's AI model had the best forecast track for the first three days. Unlike the American and Euro model that rely on real-time atmospheric data, the Google AI model focuses on past storms. And so they match these long historical data sets with details on how hurricanes behave and just statistically put them together uh, and see patterns that that the human eye couldn't see. What did it get right that the others did not, or was it just more correct? It got the general shape of the life cycle change almost exactly, with, with practically no error. No hurricane forecast model is perfect, but for its first real-time test, the Google AI model was as good as the other reliable models. And if it consistently works all this hurricane season, by next year, it's going to get a real hard look and really play a role in the forecasts that come out of the Hurricane Center. For now, as the disclaimer says on the Google Weather Lab website, it's not ready for public use and to keep relying on the National Hurricane Center and us right here at CBS News Miami. I'm Next Weather Meteorologist Scotty Withers.